Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to flash the Pico, then how to install Thonny, and then probably do one very quick bit of coding as well just to make sure that it works. So, I've got this here. This is, from, this is a kit from a company called Maker Fabs. They gave me the kit for the videos. So in it has a lot of different bits that are appropriate for the book. And it also has a, a Pico and the USB cable. Um, and for anyone who has the book, this book, I was given this from Raspberry Pi Foundation. And in the book, in this particular video, we'll be covering page is 16 to 16 to about 24, something like that, 16 to 24. Right, <clears throat> first thing you need to do is to get your, your Pico and plug the USB side in there. Then hold the white button, so you see the cell button, the boot cell button, the white button. Hold that and then plug it into your USB hub or USB socket or whatever. Then you can let go of the white button. So two things should pop up. Well, a window should pop up. It doesn't always do it though, I've noticed. Depends on the PC. If it doesn't do it, go to this PC on Windows 10 anyway. And then go to RPI RP2. So you get info you have two, which is info about the Raspberry Pi. <coughs> and you have index. Index is the one we want, so double click on that. And it should open this up. Don't click on Raspberry Pi, click on Micro Python. Then double then single left click on drag and drop Micro Python. Then click download Micro Python UF2 file. On Google Chrome, which is what I'm using, it looks like this. And I'll click on the arrow and then go to show in folder. I can Minimize the browser now. At this point, I should have two windows open. I've got the RPI RP2. I've got my downloads folder. I'm going to just get that UF2 file and drag it over to the Raspberry Pi. And after it's done, it should go doo -doo -doo, and it should disconnect. That's correct. Right. So what have we done so far? So the Raspberry Pi Pico can be coded in a few different ways. But we've just flashed it with a firmware that says set yourself up for MicroPython. Um, and that's what's happened. So it's flashed and it's restarted. Um, the next thing we want to do is go back to the, the browser and type in Thonny. Thonny.org. Where it says download version, choose the version for you. For me, it's Windows. And when you've got that, click it to run it. And then next, 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 install. So, Thon so yeah, Thonny is an IDE, which is an integrated development environment. It's basically how programmers code. They use an app to code, and the app that, does, that helps them with the coding is called the IDE. And the IDE has got a compiler in it and stuff like that. So close that. Then, yeah, on desktop you've got Thonny. So double click on Thonny and it should come up. Okay. Now, in my case, it's automatically recognized that the Pico is plugged in and that it's in the correct mode. So you know before when we click the button, that well, we held that white button down, that's the boot selection button. And if you hold it in and plug it in, it starts in a sort of flash mode. If you plug it in without holding the button, it starts in a mode where you can write to it. So at this point here, if your screen doesn't look like mine, just disconnect the Pico and then reconnect it. 
and it should look like this. So over here in the bottom right, make sure that that says Raspberry Pi Pico, MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, so at the top here we've got the toolbar, and the toolbar lets us configure various different things for the integrated development environment. We've got this big section here which is where we rewrite the code, and we've got the shell. With the shell you can uh, write to the to the Pico, and the shell is also where it writes back to you. So if we wanted to give it a command, we could type it in here and press enter. If you wanted to say something back to us, you'd see it here. So what we're going to do now, a very, very, very tiny and simple bit of code, we're going to say print, open bracket, inverted commas, hello, inverted commas, and close bracket. Oh, there's no semicolon uh, in MicroPython. That's something that's going to take me a while to get used to. I'm more used to a different programming languages. Anyway, print hello. So what do we want that to do? So print means uh, say something. So they all have channels of communication, these microcontrollers. Um, we, we often call it a serial. Um, anyway, the point is that print means say something. So it's going to say hello back to us. So when we run this, that's what it should do. So the code is going to get saved onto the, onto the Pico and then it's going to run it and when it runs it, because it's communicating with our PC, it should say a message back which will be hello. So let's press uh, F5 or you could click the button and it should say where do you want to save it to. So choose Raspberry Pi Pico and let's call it hello.py and then click OK. So hello.py, the extension py means Python. So when it runs, you see this at the bottom, it says hello. So it has indeed uh, printed back hello to us. And that's the end of this video, hopefully you found that useful. So we're a step further. Thanks for watching. Bye.